Old Rick Van Winkle 10 year is the youngest offering from the iconic Van Winkle line. How's the 2023 release? If you want to find out, then stick around. Aaron, before we get started, we have to thank our show sponsor, Goody Goody, that provided this amazing bottle for this review. Thank you, Goody Goody. Yes, uh, we're very grateful. Goody Goody is a Texas-based local liquor store, and they've got all your beverage needs covered. They've got your everyday whiskey, single barrels, the occasional allocated item, plus thousands more items for you to choose from. They have an enormous selection of spirits outside of bourbon, wines from all over the wor world, beer for every palate, and ingredients for any cocktail. You can pick up your favorites or use their knowledgeable staff to discover something new. Goody Goody has many convenient locations and their size allows them to pass some savings on to you. So on average, when you shop at Goody Goody, you pay less. You should ask about becoming a Bottom Club member for exclusive access to allocated items and discounts on everyday purchases. So visit a Goody Goody store or go to goodygoody.com today. All right. Do it. So, old Rick Van Winkle. I'm excited. So for those of you who have been living under a rock, the Van Winkle line of bourbons is Old Rip Van Winkle 10 year, Van Winkle Lot B 12 year, Pappy Van Winkle 15 year, 20 year, and 23 year. Um, and people get real upset when you call this one Pappy. Yeah. And that's Whatever. because it, that you don't get the picture of Pappy Van Winkle yeah. until you get to the 15 year. That's right. Which um, is the best one. Ironically, it's in the Goody Goody database is as Pappy, Pappy Tenure. Tenure. <laughs> <laughs> so the industry gets it wrong uh, occasionally. But yeah, so the backstory on this one, uh, Julian Pappy Van Winkle uh, was the first generation of the Van Winkles that was producing bourbon in Kentucky. And his claim to fame was weeded bourbons. So most bourbons, the secondary, what they call flavor grain is rye. For uh, for Pappy Van Winkle, he was all about that wheat flavor. It's a little bit softer, usually adds more of a citrus component to it. Um, and he started the Stitzelweller Distillery in 1935, and that distillery operated up until 1992. Uh, and his son and his uh, grand grandson both bought whiskey from their father slash grandfather's like previous distillery, it, it got sold in the seventies, but they kept buying the whiskey that that their family had from made Stitzel. from Stitzel Weller Distillery, and um, and that's how the 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 brand was built. Uh, but nowadays, uh, they are partnered with Buffalo Trace Distillery. So the actual uh, distillery, if you look it up, is the old Rip Van Winkle Distillery. Uh, but they are partnered with Buffalo Trace, who now does their distillation and maturation for them and bottling and all that stuff. Um, and the skew that we're tasting today is Old Rip Van Winkle, age is 10 year, proof is 107. The SRP for this one is $69.99. Yeah, right. Uh, but even <laughs> even Goody Goody marked it up to $139.99. Uh, that's comical. Uh, just because... Uh, what does this bottle trade for on the second? Who? Like a thousand dollars or something? Yeah, probably a thousand bucks. Uh, the bottle size is 750 ml. So what do you say we taste it up? And I thought it'd be fun because I I still have a little bit of my 20? 2020. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna compare the 2020 to the 23, and hopefully that provides a little bit more information. So, I mean, it screams Buffalo Trace, obviously. Yeah, but. You know, I get the classic grape, you know, big league chew grape flavor on both of them. But I'm starting to pick up now like a a buttery note on the new one. On the new one that you, you, you're not getting. I don't get on the other one. So I would say the 2020 is way more fruit forward. Okay. Um, um, yeah. Not that it's not in there, um, but on the nose, definitely big league chew on the 2020. Mm -hmm. And on the palate. So good. So, man, what I always get on Old Rip Van Winkle, when I was a kid, my parents used to drop us off at the mall. We'd hang out there all day, right? Okay. 
And we'd go to the knife store and look at knives, and I liked looking at pens, and I'd look at the pen store. Uh, but even though I was just a kid, and I'd never smoked anything in my life, I would always go to the cigar shop, mm. and I would smell all of the pipe tobacco containers. Yeah, I love cigars. I have one every day. Yeah, and so um, I get a sweet pipe tobacco note on all old Rip Van Winkle. Yeah, okay. I, I see that. And if I ever get put into a situation where I'm doing a blind between old Rip Van Winkle and Weller. Yeah. You don't get that on Weller. I don't get it enough on Weller, and that's how I can tell the difference. And we're talking about specifically antique versus... Ant uh, yeah, antique. Because for a long time, they were the same age. They were both 10-year yeah. age dated, and they were both 107. Uh, and the barrels came from the same source. So, um, all right. So, how would you rate this on a scale of 1 to 100? I mean, it's really, really good, but uh, I don't think I'm cracking the 90s on it. I think I'm like an 88. Okay. It's really good. I am probably a little higher than you. I guess I'm also taking into consideration that I can't find it, and I'm going to have to pay what I'm not willing to pay. So if if it were like you know, give it a, give it a straight up score based on flavor, and then and then we'll, we'll then we'll talk about price on the buyer pass. Eighty nine, eighty nine. Yeah. Okay, I'm probably like a ninety three. Oh wow, that's high. Yeah. Okay. This this is um, this is my favorite Van Winkle. My well, I like the fifteen, but that's even more on titanium. So. Yeah, yeah. So. And and if if Desert Island, I have to drink the same whiskey every day for the rest of my life. You said. Old Rip Van Winkle 10-year or Pappy Van Winkle 15, right. I'm picking the Old Rip. Well, I mean, back in the day, I remember there just being handles of 107 in the closet. <laughs> you know? And that was your daily drinker. Yeah. It was just, yeah, 1-5. It's just nobody the case up. Yeah. yeah. I was just sitting there. Those uh, were the days. Back when you worked at Goody, uh, this was not hard to find. Yeah. Um, no, it wasn't. Yeah, so let's uh, let's let's tell them: is it a buy or a pass at SRP? Okay, <laughs> it's a buy. It's a strong buy. It's a, and SRP at seventy dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, at at one forty, yes, yes, strong buy. Strong at, buy. Uh, Two fifty, yes. yes, strong buy. Strong buy. At uh, three fifty. Yeah, think still, about it, but probably buy. buy. Yeah, I'm I, like I start to get sketchy at around five hundred. Yeah, and, and 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 again, I'm taking into consideration the fact that it's a special bottle. Right. People are going to, you know, want You can create a lot of memories it. with a bottle like this. For sure, yeah. yeah. I mean, is the juice inside really worth 350 I pay it, but probably not. No, no, no. I mean, if, the, if you're just looking at the economics of how sure. much does it cost for them to make this with yeah, you, yeah. is it is it worth $350? Um, now, now ask me, would I rather drink... Uh, this at five hundred dollars versus a thousand dollar bottle of scotch. Um, I'm picking this. Oh, absolutely. right. But that's my profile, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so, it, yeah, we we gotta we gotta get cleaner on our ratings versus our bypasses. Yeah, because, yeah. I um, hear you. It's, so straight up rating, I'm rating this a ninety three just based on flavor. Um, I stick with where I'm at. Yeah, uh, but uh, I'm I'm a definite buy, obviously at S SRP or. I mean, heck, even five times SRP, six, seven times SRP, I'm still a strong buy. Uh, so let's give something away. Um, what I thought would be interesting for this was to do a one ounce sample pack. Oh. Um, so that people could for a generous try different things. So, so what I wanted to do was give one ounce of the 20 year. Which I prefer. Or, or the, not the 20 year, one ounce the of the 2020. Uh, 2020. One ounce of the 2023, which I do prefer the 2020 yeah. over the 23. Um, this one's just a little bit rounder profile. It's a little with the, with the older fruit. is yeah. what I get a little bolder. This one's it's not thin, but it's um, yeah. So I I would say this is a a, a little less. Uh, uh, it, I, I'd probably rate the 2020 like a, a 94. Um, yeah, I'd be, maybe, I'd be in the 90s. Maybe, it's maybe really 95. Yeah, it's um, a shame that you don't have much left. But I also, yeah, I mean, this is the one people want to try when they come over. Sure. I recently, um, my whiskey club released this uh, Weller Antique uh, single barrel. Yeah, I've had that. And uh, what's what's cool, I mean, this is a, a, a single barrel that we got to select, um, but this whiskey and the whiskey that's in here used to be exactly the same. 
curious. It used to be 107 and 10 year age stated. They've dropped the age statement from Weller Antique. In fact, it used to be called Old Weller Antique. And when they stopped, you know, putting all 10 year barrels in there, they changed it to just Weller Antique. Um, but I think it'd be fun for you to experience these three side by side. Uh, so we are going to give away a one ounce sample pack of these three whiskeys. And all you have to do to get it is you've got to like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you get notifications. And we're doing a giveaway on every video. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want to pay attention. I need you to comment below on the video. And if you're enjoying this content, share it with a whiskey loving friend. Uh, but if you subscribe, that's great. Uh, oh, and you have to fill out the link in the video description. Yeah, don't forget to do that. Yes, there's a link for you to give me your name and contact information so I can randomize it. And I'll reach out to the winner and I'll get their shipping information and ship it to them absolutely for free. Um, but that's not the only way to support this channel. Uh, if you like the content, we have a Patreon and we'd love for you to check out our Patreon. It's Bourbon Real Talk Plus. We've got a lot of member benefits over there. Totally we worth it. Do a lot of giveaways, uh, distillery takeovers, like in-person events that like you're not going to be able to get this kind of access unless you are involved with some sort of organization like ours. Uh, we have a lot of fun when we go out to distilleries. They make us king for the day. We drink out of barrels. We pick a single barrel that's exclusive for the Patreon members. Uh, you can also support the channel by purchasing merch. We've got a lot of great whiskey-related items at bourbonrolltop.com, including... Bottle carrying bags. We've got a sensory aroma kit to help develop your palate so you can break down flavors and whiskeys. We've got custom glassware and a lot of other really great things. But Aaron and I are also in real estate. Yeah. And that's how we originally met each other. I'm a residential real estate agent. So if you need real estate services in the Dallas or Houston metro area, just know that I give epic closing gifts in the form of whiskey bottles when whiskey people hire me. And Aaron, you are my lender and you do all the loans yeah. for my buyers. So what what areas do you serve? Uh, Texas, Oklahoma, Florida, Colorado. If you're looking to buy a house, rates are coming down. Thank God. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, let me know. If yeah. uh, you have any, any needs, I can definitely compete with anybody out there. And I can vouch for him, uh, customer services through the roof. And uh, because he's a broker and not tied to one individual bank, he can find the cheapest rate for you out there and still provide excellent customer service. So in all the years we've worked together, you've never not closed the loan on time. So it's been about a decade. Yeah. It's been, uh, since 2014, almost a decade, yeah. 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Uh, coming up on it. So, uh, we really appreciate you tuning in to the channel and we always sign off the same way. And we just want to let you know if you woke up this morning and you're unsure whether or not anyone loved you, just know, that love we love you, and we'll see you next time on Bourbon Real Talk. Cheers. Cheers. Hold on. Head didn't feel right. And Iconic. 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 I'm going to say it slow and make Iconic. a lot of weird. Let's do it. Didn't sound right. It's you. I wasn't ready for all of the words to not have spaces. All the <laughs> shit show. Already. We're not even really started.